Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the combination of index and match and how you can use it and maybe why it's a better combination of functions to use rather than using VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP to look up data in a data range or table. So here's our example. I have a um, sales data for 2012 and I have for the 12 months and I have a team of of nine that I want to in my little table or chart down here I want to be able to select a salesperson and a month and have it generate or find for me the sales uh, that at that intersection and uh, I've used data validation here just to be able to uh, make it easier to ensure that I don't misspell anything when I enter the data in. This way I can choose from a, a predefined list. So what we have here now, or the, the challenge actually is using VLOOK or HLOOKUP, but they both require data to be in ascending order if you want to use an exact match. Uh, they also need the rows or columns where the data is located to be identified. You have to specify the, the number uh, column or row depending which one you're using that uh, you're going to uh, want to pull the response from or the results from and also they only go from left to right in their search where index and match can go uh, from right to left so in our example here I'm going to enter into our box the index and match combination to be able to pull from the salesperson's name and the month to get the match for the sale. So let's take a look at the index function. I'm going to type equals index and you can see that uh, returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a range. So the syntax is you need the array, a row number, and a column number and so it'll take the array and then based on the intersection of that row and that column will return that value and we're going to use match to define what the row is and match to define what the column is so our array is going to be the data area here as defined by uh, C4 to N12 then I'll hit comma and now we're going to do the row number and how we're going to do the row number is using the match function and you can see match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value in a specific order and the syntax is what's the value what's my array and what match type do I have so my value for the row is going to be whatever I have in the sales name these are our rows Tom through Joan which is 4 through 12 and we're gonna look up in this case Beth so that's my lookup value my lookup array is in this list and the lookup type is either 1 0 or negative 1 for less than exact or greater than match I'm gonna put a 0 because I want an exact match so now in my index I've defined the array and I've defined the row number now I put a comma and I'm going to define the column number and again I'm going to use match and I'm going to match the columns which are the months so this is the column I want it to be in that's the lookup value the lookup array is the whole range of months and again I want to use zero for an exact match that closes the match function I close put another parenthesis to close the index function hit enter and there I have for Beth and May 21529. So if I look at May, go down to Beth 21529. It's an exact match. If I choose another like Chuck and in November, I go Chuck, November 69606, 69606. So there you have a, a simple example of how you can use the index and match functions. I guess index this takes the array, give it the row number, column number at that intersection is going to be the results. And then using match to find that row and find that column and provide those uh, results to the index function so it can look in the array and find the result. And there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, please stop by my blog, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.